Okay, this is the second part to the tutorial um, about the Search for Truth Bible Study, downloading and installing and everything. Uh, I was going to say a couple things. This is ideal for a laptop. If you've got a laptop computer, you can take your laptop with this Bible study on it to anybody's house, apartment, to the church, wherever you're going to teach them the Bible study at and uh, at school or whatever it is. Now, if you don't have a laptop and all you have is a desktop, you're either going to have to bring them to your home to teach them the uh, to teach them the Bible study, or if you've got a thumb drive, uh, you know, a flash drive that you can plug into the USB port, you can just drag the Search for Truth file right here off onto that um, thumb drive. Now, I just realized something else, too. I didn't, okay, I was thinking it was over a gig. Okay, this is only 151 megabytes, so if you don't have a flash drive or a thumb drive, you can also burn this Search for Truth to a CD. I was going to say you got to do it to a DVD, but you don't have to because it's not that big. I was thinking it was, you know, a gig and a half, but it's only, you know, um, 151 megabytes so anyway if you burn this to a CD you can take it to their house and if they'll let you install it on their computer you can just install it on their computer and teach them the Bible study like that now you don't want to teach it to them necessarily every day this Bible study is set up for like um, uh, maybe 45 minutes a session one time one to two times a week you're looking at about 45 t minutes to an hour a session, one to two times a week. Now, I made a flyer up, and I was going to show that on this tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it in a few minutes and work on getting that flyer on here so I can show you just some of the um, advertisement we've done trying to, you know, get this out. I, Me and a friend made this uh, probably four or five years ago back in Georgia uh, when I was going to church in Georgia in my hometown up there. We made a flyer for the colleges up there. Um, I was going to church in a different town and uh, you know it was uh, they had a, a, a college, Floyd College, and so we made a flyer to get the college students attention and I'll, I'll show you that flyer if I can find it. But I've also made other flyers for Search for Truth now you know it's I you know you can hang it up in many different places, billboards, stuff that you can find women uh, for the ladies. It's, it's absolutely just an awesome thing if you could call and find out where the women's shelter in town is and take the flyers up there and you can teach um, the uh, you could teach the um, Bible study to the women in the women's shelter they'd probably love to love to have it and uh, you know they're looking for something looking for answers and, uh, and that's what it's for it's for them it's for you know the gospels for people that, that need need the Lord you know and everything everybody needs the Lord but Anyway, there, you know, advertisement. There's, um, you know, there's some wise ways to a advertise it. You have to, you know, just just come up with some things and be creative. God will bless it. You know, think of something. Uh, whoever you're, whatever the crowd is you're targeting, you know, for advertising it to them. If it's people in a college, you know, you want to put something, you know, put it in the philosophy building in college. You know, say, you know, hey, don't condemn Christianity until you've until you've been through this Bible study. You know, or something like that, you know, and just you sitting there with the people and having the Holy Ghost does more than anything you can say. I mean, you're teaching this Bible study that's, you know, that's set up for, um, you know, it's set up like it is. It's a stationary Bible study, but I think the most important thing about this Search for Truth Bible study is the actual presence of you sitting there with the people and the Holy Ghost that's in you ministering to them. You know, and, I mean, of course, you're teaching them about the Bible, and, and it really, it works that way on anything, on soul winning, on, you know, people that you make friends with. Sometimes you'll never say nothing about the Lord, but they're getting ministered to just because of your spirit, because of the spirit you have. But um, anyway, you know, we went through it a little bit. I'm going to show you some more of, on what's in the folder. Uh, a lot of this stuff you don't have to worry about, okay? You know, the the little purple icon or on Vista, it may be something else, but it's FS2. Uh, two. Now, if you want to, on your laptop, you can just right-click on this and hit Send to Desktop, and it'll create your shortcut down there. And then, I rename mine a lot of the times to search for this. And there you go.
you go. And, and, and any time you click on that's when you initiate this little menu right there. Well, there's a teacher's manual in here, and that's Search for Truth manual right there. I'm going to double click on that, Microsoft Word. Also, while this thing's loading up, I'm working on a bus ministry um, worksheet, and I'm going to put it out. I can't put it on the internet. I mean, I can't, p I'm sorry, I can't do a video on it. I'm going to put it on the internet and make it downloadable. But I'll talk a little more about that in another tutorial, maybe. Search for Truth 2, Home uh, Bible Study Course Teacher's Manual. Now, this thing's awesome. For any, for any, for any of y'all that has never read one of the instruction manuals, teacher manual on the, uh, on Search for Truth or anything to do with the, um, Bible studies and things of our church and everything. It's like, you know, it, it, let me let me get to something. It's you know all of it's interesting, you know, and it you know basically just you know I guess I'll read you a little bit of it, but I wanted to kind of get down to the lesson. I know it's taken a million years, but I'm running all this stuff. You know, introduction. The greatest teacher. You know. Plan your lesson accordingly. Watch the time. Don't teach too long. 45 minutes per session is adequate. It'll go into talking about that stuff. That's for you. You know, but it'll give you a little stuff to study to go along with the charts and everything. Just, you know, stuff that might refresh your memory on stuff that you've learned. All this kind of, you know, and, and like I say, you don't have to obey everything to the very T. I mean, you know, this, this Bible study can be used without even reading this thing, but... In these days of uncertainty and confusion, it is comforting to know that our confidence rests upon the very words spoken by God, the Bible. Nor has he left us without proofs of the credibility of his word. We can speak with authority about Christianity, knowing that there is an intellectual basis for our faith in Jesus Christ. Without a solid scriptural foundation, we could not intelligently or convincingly present the good news. Therefore, we want to begin. Now, you have all kinds of stuff like that. This thing is so interesting. It's You're going to eat it up, man. It's just, just like food. I'm telling you, it's great. I love reading it. And you don't have to read it too long. You know, you're going to be able to teach them 45 minutes will go by so quick. I mean, before you all know it, it'll be you'll be through with the Bible study. They'll be entertained, and their spirit will be ministered to, which is, uh, there again, the most important thing. But, uh... Yeah, the tutorial system cut me short again. It's also got uh, lesson quizzes and stuff like that. Lesson one quiz, and I'll just show you what that looks like real quick. Um, cover introduction. It tells you a little bit. It's got the outline, and then here's the the quiz. And you can print this out and give it to them and and let them write write stuff down. You know, I don't know how many people actually does this part of it. That may that may kind of be. I don't think they're going to be. If they're a college student, they may have. They may really study this really hard. But for the common average person, I think they're studying you more than they are the, um, you know, all this information. But some of it's going to sink in anyway, and everything. So you might not want to give them the test, or you can. But it's got the answers right there, and you know, right up under it and everything. Um, that's all under your discretion, you know. The main thing is, is you advertising for the Search for Truth Bible Study, setting up appointments with the people, and get you a book, man. Keep a log, you know, keep you a log on, on your dates, times, and everything, and, uh, you know, try to figure out their best time and everything, your best time, and, and be there faithfully, you know, every week, and, and, you know, go to their home. It's better, I think it's better if you can go to their home, because... You may be the only time that they ever have the Holy Ghost in their house, meaning the Holy Ghost you carry inside you. You know, and and uh, it's 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 a great thing. I mean, they feel it, their family feel it, uh, their kids feel it. I don't know if you if you've ever walked into a church building or the sanctuary right after somebody got done praying in it, but you can actually feel the presence of God still in there, and that's you know that's what people feel when when we're around. You know, you can be walking in town sometimes, and, you know, I've noticed people make eye contact, and they don't know who I am, but they automatically start speaking about God when you walk by. They're talking to somebody else, but that's because they feel the Holy Ghost in you, and they, they can tell that um, that you have it. Well, um, 
that's uh, that's about it for the uh, search for truth tutorial. But yeah, just download download it like I. Now there was a couple files that popped up when I was um, installing this thing or, or unzipping the files, and I said it don't normally happen. Well, I think it's gonna happen. It was replacing a PowerPoint file or something. Just hit yes to all. But uh, anyway, let me go ahead and and cut this tutorial short because it's uh, my time is up. But uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped. Contact me. My email address will be in the description with the download links. Thanks.